All right, so haven't had a video up in a few days. Well, a couple weeks or so. Wanted to uh, do a little update on some stuff. Uh, made made another scabbard and wet formed this one. So it, man, it's pretty freaking hard. This thing turned out great. But it's like a Orschlund's Tonto. And this is the original crap scabbard right here. So yeah, I freaking hate those cheap nylon pieces of garbage. But this thing is like formed so well i think it's probably one of the best ones i've made because it's, it's even having a hard time coming off the freaking blade itself and i'm going to do a video on this so this is just kind of a prelude to me doing a, a review of this orschlund's tonto this thing is surprisingly thick for a nine dollar house brand and you know like i said i've i've repeatedly harped on uh the uh serrated blades but uh the, and they have one i didn't know that they weren't the same thing the tan handle has a straight edge and a little bit different point to it so i'm going to buy one of those make scabbard for that because well it just sounds like fun the handle got dye on it and uh stained but this this blade hasn't quite been tested or abused but it seemed pretty robust for a house brand blade this is the orschlin uh like seven inch hunters tonto fixed blade and that's the scabbard i made for it burnished the outsides the outside edge with a uh, deer antler did uh like the cotton wax cord stitching did some rivets on it and uh, as you can see down in there man that thing formed right to the blade and i just uh have a like a foam pad that I stuck it in when it was wet uh, just did two rivets on the back probably should have moved that over so uh, lesson learned again did a uh, button snap closure but man that thing fits like a glove I just love it the uh, blade itself which I don't know I won't get into the freaking blade yet I'm gonna do a whole video on just the the Orschlin 7 inch hunter Tonto or whatever this is another one I made for uh, a buddy I work with and he he keeps giving me stuff to practice with. This is a, a blade that a friend made him and then he didn't have a scabbard for, so I just kinda decided I'd try to help him make some scabbards and stuff, or make him some scabbards. Uh, so I did steel wool this a little bit to get the redness of the rust off. I tried to patina it and it didn't really patina very well, so I don't know what, this might be some stainless and somehow, somehow it got some red rust, but uh, I just tried like a mustard patina on it and it didn't turn out very good but the scabbard again did a uh did sort of a miniature version of that big blade i didn't wet form it because it was so small i didn't do a welt but i still think it'll be all right and that's just kind of the uh the goings on in my life lately that are uh bushcraft outdoor and gear related stuff just still working on some leather stuff like that i am really wanting to get into more leather wet forming this thing turned out i mean this thing almost feels like a kydex but better so uh yeah still more lessons learned i had to had to dye all this this came raw kind of white like the other veg tan stuff i'd done but it turned out good man this thing is just super robust and hard i dig it so uh yeah look forward to a review of this Orschlund's blade and another one I've got in the works. I'll bring it right here. Okay, so, you know, in addition to the uh, Orschlund's Tonto, this is another incoming blade review. This is the Condor Swamp Romper. I tried to do a patina on it, but I guess it's got a little bit of a, uh, like a the lacquer coating nonsense, and I hadn't quite worked that off of there. So I'm gonna have to go beat this through some more wood and just use and abuse this thing. So I'll do a full review on this and that Orschlund's Tonto, but uh, yeah, really dig the scabbard and all that jazz. But uh, just just thought I would do a little uh, letting you know that I've got some more stuff in the works. This, especially these two blade reviews, gonna do those for sure. And uh, took down the shelter in the backyard, gonna rebuild the camp again, just because 
I don't know, I just didn't end up liking the way that was turning out. So I'll try to do a video of me doing another bushcraft build in my backyard, it's full disclosure, but you know, I want to have my kid out there some and be doing some stuff in the backyard. And I like a little spot to shoot videos and uh, my kid can come out there and we can cook and eat and all that crap. But uh, so just as an update, channel update, I guess is some, I'll, I'll call this video some sort of update, but uh, got a Condor Swamp Romper review coming in where I'll do some work with it and uh, beat that into oblivion. Do the, uh, the Orschlands Tonto review. And then I still have a, a kukri that I had done like a first impressions on in the last video you saw. And I'm gonna take that out and do some work on that and do just a an after actions review of that too. And, and do videos working with each of these blades and uh, possibly sharpening this Orschlands blade because it did not come very sharp, but whatever. That'll be for that specific video. So I uh, hope you guys have uh, had a good few weeks or whatever going on. Uh, things have been okay with me kind of dealing with some anxiety crap and work situation and junk like that but uh hopefully i'll get some more videos coming out here pretty soon but that's what's in the works here and i uh, just wanted to show some of the leather work that i had done recently and uh just kind of make a video and uh yeah i catch you guys for a second so thanks for watching and uh i'll try and get those videos coming real quick on those knives